India has been dreading the possibility that coronavirus will move to the stage of community transmission. Let's try and understand this stage of a pandemic. What are the stages of a pandemic? In stage 1, cases are imported into a country in which the infection did not originate. During stage 2, the virus starts being transmitted locally where the source of the infection is from within a particular area and the trajectory the virus has taken from one person to the next is clearly established. Stage 3 is that of community transmission. According to the World Health Organization, the virus is now circulating in the community and can infect people with no history either of travel to affected areas or of contact with an infected person. This stage might require a full lockdown as it's possible for every person regardless of where they are from and who they have been in contact with to spread the disease. There is also a stage 4 when the disease becomes endemic in some countries, meaning they occur around the year across the country. The Indian government takes this possibility into account just as for malaria and dengue. How does categorizing an outbreak in this manner help? The stages of a pandemic are uniform the world over to convey the same thing to every person around the world. Thus helping countries better prepare and to take specific actions that are necessary to target just that particular scenario. For example, during stage 1, India imposed travel restrictions to China and later on other European countries. India has now shut itself to individuals coming from all countries as the virus is circulating in at least 177 countries and territories. However, there are also cases of local transmission that is stage 2. That is why large number of people are in government quarantine facilities, in home quarantine or under community surveillance. The official position in India is that no community transmission has been detected since February from people who seem to have symptoms like COVID-19 but no travel or contact history as per the Indian Council of Medical Research. Are these stage categories watertight? Scientific definitions are usually very precise, but classifications can also draw on informed judgment. That is also why even though the health ministry had declared stage 3 community transmission in Agra, scientists say it was just stage 2 local transmission but at the community level. There have to be more of these cases to move on to the next stage. Worldwide, in which stage is the COVID-19 pandemic now? The pandemic has spread to nearly every country on the planet. In most, though, it is in the stage of either imported cases or local transmission. Among the countries where community transmission seems to be operating are China, Italy, Iran, South Korea and Japan. China adopted a graded approach in dealing with the infection, but the epicenter, Hubei, was in a state of complete lockdown at the peak of the infection, something that Italy has now implemented. South Korea has brought down infections with mass free testing, treatment and vigilance at borders and airports. The escalation pattern in countries has differed as much as their response. China took almost a month to escalate to a stage where the outbreak became a global concern. Italy, on the other hand, just took a few days to reach that stage. How long before India enters community transmission? Community transmission is inevitable, but some experts feel it may have already happened. In India so far, an explanation has been found for every case, so there is no background community transmission yet. There are some reports of one strain having less mortality, which would change the course of the epidemic in India. There is another theory that all the various viruses circulating in South Asia and the generally low levels of hygiene may give us some immunity. This is an evolving phase. We have not done badly so far, but there is more to come.